Eric's storyline has been brilliantly played out from the start. He was the person of color who understood Harper, advocated for her, and groomed her to be his mini-me, as he appears to have done for many others. However, as seen in this episode, Eric did not modify or destroy the wheel. He was a voice. While not as horrible as Newman in terms of racist epithets, he taught the same types of individuals who may have appreciated Eric for his mentorship but would abandon him when he no longer met their demands. We saw this with Harper several times when Eric needed a good win with Felon but failed. While he likes Eric, Danny plainly doesn't mind if he gets knocked down a notch, especially because he would do the same to him. Then what about Bill? He understands, just like Danny. Eric has spent his entire life battling for acceptance and demonstrating his worth, and his relationship, his legacy, has been about teaching younger copies of himself to add to how he can prove he accomplished something right. But that's the bittersweet thing about mentorship. There will come a time when you aren't needed by your mentees but also by the place where you once thrived enough to be trusted to rear the next generation. But with the way Eric tried to bolster his position before having to fall on the sword, it makes you wonder if he may settle into a less stressful role or, as when Daria tried to take him down, will he mount a grand comeback? There is little doubt that Harper wants to be close to someone, but whether it is merely sexually or romantically, it is difficult to determine. You can see that Robert and Gus provide her with the degree of companionship she needs, and she may have sporadic affections for Robert, or she may only wish to have sex with him on occasion due to his accessibility. But something is different about Danny. You can tell when he recalls something she said out of the blue that struck his heart. Add in a degree of vulnerability from Harper that we don't often see when she isn't in a dire situation. It leads you to believe she has begun to develop feelings for Danny. But, thanks to her mother and ex-boyfriends, you can see her poisoning the idea as soon as she feels at ease with it. Celeste has a unique ability to entice people to follow her lead. You're not sure if she's being pleasant or flirtatious. It's unclear if you're making this stuff up or whether she's leading you on. One has to wonder if Celeste is attempting to teach her the skill of what she does, if she is treating her like any other customer, or if she wants a taste of Yasmin, if not of Yasmin taste her. It's a game that Yasmin has no chance of winning, but watching her handled in a way that reminds you of what she did to Robert is pleasant. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to comment, subscribe and give us a like. Subscribe